you are watching Redicon. Intrinsic carpal ligament, two of the important ones are scaphoid unit and linear tricuteral ligaments. The scaphoid unit has three parts. The, this is a horseshoe shaped structure. Uh, it has a dorsal part, volar part and the proximal part. The dorsal part is the strongest part of scaphoid unit ligament. Here you can see an image from a coronal uh, MR arthrogram demonstrating intact proximal part of the scaphoid unit ligament here and that's the linear tricuteral ligament. There can be small central perforation in the proximal part of the S uh, scaphoid unit ligament which is a normal variant. So uh, you have to assess the uh, whole of the uh, findings in uh, axial plane as well to uh, call it a tear because there can be a normal uh, variation. Uh, uh, in the appearances of the scaphoid unit ligament. Here is an axial view of the scaphoid unit ligament. So that's the dorsal band here. You can see between the scaphoid and lunate, and that's the volar uh, band of the scaphoid unit ligaments. As we said earlier, this dorsal band is the thickest part, and uh, volar uh, band is more weak part of the scaphoid unit ligament. Uh, so, what happens if you get scaphoid unit ligament and it gets uh, unnoticed or untreated? The, the, it can progress to disease deformity, which is dorsal intercalated segmental instability. Uh, what happens is that due to the scaphoid unit ligament tear, the lunate's connection to the scaphoid is functionally disrupted and the bones become dissociated. So, unopposed scaphoid follows its natural tendency to volar flex. So therefore, the trachytrum pulls the unit in dorsiflexion and you end up with dizzy deformity. Normal scaphoid unit angle is 30 to 60 degrees and more than 80 degree indicates that there is um, a dizzy deformity present. A dizzy deformity can happen with intact S uh, scaphoid unit ligament in the presence of a scaphoid waist fracture. So what happens is that the distal pole of the scaphoid displaces proximally and volally and while the proximal pole remains attached and tilted dorsally by the lunate. So if you do not treat it, uh, get untreated, then in long term it can lead to osteoarthritis of the radioscaphoid joint and slack wrist, which is scaphoid lunate advanced collapse. Um, and dizzy deformity due to scaphoid fracture is called snack wrist, which is scaphoid non union adva advanced collapse. So, here is an example of uh, tear of the dorsal band. So, you can see. The green arrowhead indicates the intact dorsal band of the scaphoid unit ligament and on the second image on your right you can see that you cannot see the uh, dorsal band clearly and there is intermediate signal here and uh, which indicates that there is a dorsal band tear of the scaphoid unit ligament. Be careful of there is another uh, extrinsic ligament which runs dorsal to the or superficial to the scaphoid unit lig ligament which is called li radio lunotricutral ligament as demonstrated here by the uh, blue arrowheads. Uh, this is an extrinsic ligament of the wrist. So mild dorsal tilt, uh, as you can see on this image, this is accepted. It may well be that the patient had a wrist scan in ulnar deviation and that can give you false positive uh, uh, results. So be always uh, look at the source or scout images to see how the wrist was scanned and then assess for uh, dizzy deformity. On the second image on your right, you can see the CK4 is tilted quite in a volar direction and uh, so if you measure this angle with going, uh, going along the long axis of the scaphoid and through the axis of the lunate, then the angle is way above uh, 80, so it is 105 degrees. So that indicates dizzy deformity. Here is a case of snack wrist, so you can see there is a fracture through the scaphoid, so the distal pole is uh, has displaced more towards the volar aspect. However, the uh, distal pole, proximal pole, sorry, uh, remains uh, where it should be. It is still attached to the lunate. Uh, so, if you measure the angle along the long axis of the proximal pole, uh, distal pole of the scaphoid, and through the uh, lunate, then uh, you're going to get increased uh, scaphoid lunate angle. And this is the case of a snack wrist. VZ is opposite to dizzy, and it stands for volar intercalated segmental instability. Since the lunate is freed from the trachytrum, so it is pulled volarly by the scaphoid and the scaphoid unit angle is reduced and is, uh, the, so the diagnosis is if the scaphoid unit angle is less than 30 degrees then we call it busy deformity. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell for new courses. For more modules and radiology CMAs, 
please visit www.radicon.org.